Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubara and I'm coming to our 14th lecture of creating a, a complete hotel management system using plain PHP and MySQL. So as you know, always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. So with that much said, let's go straight into today's business and get started. Okay, so things, things, I mean, first things first. Uh, we're going to begin with our uh, uh, with where we stopped in the previous lecture. So I'll come here to our project. Okay, this is our project, and then we are going to go ahead and do the booking. Okay, I mean I'll proceed from where we stopped in the previous what in the previous uh, lecture. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we were able to create this uh, room page, a single room page, and uh, or a single page for a room, or a details page for a room. And uh, we stopped at this level where I were able to feed everything here. And we said we're going to work on the checkout, whereby we shall come on these other things and these services shall come for them later. So right now, we're going to focus on the what? On the checkout but before we proceed to the checkout i want to put here uh these rooms at least they should be the rooms in the same what in the same uh category okay they should be the room in the same what in the same category okay so that must say let's go ahead and proceed uh to today's business uh so i'll go to my source code <clears throat> let me zoom a little bit so you can see things clearly and then i move to i move to um, to the room detail screen room detail screen here we are so i want to go ahead and put here the related rooms so the rooms in the same category i'm going to get the rooms in the same category and display them here so i'll come to i'll come on top here i'll come on top here these are the rooms in this category so I'll check if it's not now uh, i go ahead and proceed so i'm going to get here related rooms so i can just simply put uh, a dollar sign and say related rooms related related rooms like this so to get related rooms it will be simple to just simply say related rooms because to be db select and then we go ahead and uh, say rooms let me first see if there's none who has joined here okay db select and then you say you say rooms so here are selecting from the database of rooms and then you say where room category equals to the current room category so our reference to it and where i say where the id is not equal to null so that is my where condition i can even go ahead and put the limit to be six so by doing like this i'll be able to get the what the rooms so let's go ahead and try to uh so these are the rooms that you're going to get here so i can first get them here and see if they're going to come actually if they're going to come so i can come and put it here for example and then go ahead and say echo and say uh, pre tags and then do some printer and then die okay so let's first display these rooms and you see how they look like so i come here and save and come and refresh so you see that we are able to get the related rooms okay so i want to display the related rooms okay so i come and get these related rooms and then put it here so if i come and refresh you'll see the related rooms are here so you have the other rooms of this kind that are in the same category. You see, they are here. Other related rooms that are in the same what? In the same category. So after doing so, we can proceed now. Uh, we can proceed. So you see, there are other rooms that are in the same what? In the same category. So let's proceed. Uh, after doing so, what we're going to do right now? We're going to go ahead and the. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove this on top and put the bottom. So let me show how I've just got it. It's just simply related rooms equals to db select and I pass the rooms which is the, the, the table and then I put here a where. So the where is going to be category I, room category id is equal to the current room. Okay. And I put the and and I say id is not equal to the current room. So you should get for me the rooms that are the same in the same category but not the current room and they limit them to six rooms. So after doing so, I'm going to go ahead and look in this uh, so if I come and refresh here, I'm going to go ahead and look in these similar rooms, okay? These similar room sections. 
section so i'll come into similar room section and then i'll be able to see uh the main template which is this one of a single room so i can go ahead and collapse this one and collapse all the six because these are just uh normal html's that were actually put there so i'll go ahead and collapse and delete all these five so i can remain with one so if i save and come and refresh you see that i'm remaining with one room i'm remaining with one room the only reason is that uh, it is doing what it is the same it's the same picture times three okay so what you're going to do again now to go ahead and loop through the rooms and then display the similar rooms okay so you just simply go ahead and say php php and then php and then say open here and then say for so I put here a for each let me go ahead and delete this say for each and then we end the for each and all right so i'll go ahead and cut this and then i put it here all right so it means that i'm going to look through these rooms and they display these rooms here okay so if i come and refresh you'll see that we have at least uh two rooms okay though they are not displaying but here there are two rooms that are that are actually there so i'm going to go ahead and display now the room name the room price all those things so i'll just simply come here and get this room name and then come and put here okay get it so you need to put also the currency so if you come to our utils function sorry if you come to our functions you see that we have this currency super global i mean that global variable so i'll come and put it here so i can or can i simply concatenate it here all right so uh, if I come and refresh, you'll see that now at least the prices are there. Okay, when you move there, the price should be there. This should not be name, should be price. So you see, the currency is there and the price is there. And then uh, we come and put here the name. put there the room name so I come and refresh you see that the room name has reflected you see the room name has reflected okay so we come and put here uh, the link to the details page so I think the details page is just going to be the same link but we're going to just specify the what the ID so I'll come here and come and put this one all right so let me paste it and then say question mark id equals two and then i go ahead and put there the id which is going to be same as room like this id like that okay uh, all right so after doing so i can come and do the same here on these links just put those all right so if i save the camera refresh now i'll be able to see that uh, i can click on this i'm able to see this particular room details i click on that i'm able to see that particular room details only that we're going to make the, the page of what of uh, bookings okay we're going to make the page of booking okay so i think that is uh, beautiful that is beautiful uh so let's go ahead and make the page of room booking 
So I just simply come here and say new file and just simply say room dash booking dot php so that is the page you shall be putting the room they shall put the room booking detail uh, logic so let me go ahead and uh, so we'll have to change also the names i mean the, the photos we're going to do that okay so here i'll come here and do what and go ahead and say room booking dot php question mark i can say maybe room underscore id equals to so you can use that one maybe and then i go ahead and put the room id just like we put it here okay i put the room id there for book all right so i hope you've seen that uh, we proceed and uh, go ahead and put the the what the we're going to put here the the room photo the room photo okay so you can come and borrow here from the index I say maybe and come and get this what you put here in the room photo so you can come and do the same from this side so I'll come here to room details I remove this IMG and put this one okay so put this room photos like this so in only here you have to change from this item to room so by doing that so it will be, we'll be able to get the room photo so if i come and refresh right now you'll see that the related rooms photo and now dynamic they're actually dynamic only that you cannot see the difference but but they are actually dynamic so when i click on booking when i click on booking it takes me to the booking screen all right so let's proceed and then the rest we shall come for them when we are mastering the system when you are mastering the system so i'm going to create a booking what a booking screen so this booking screen is just going to look much more like uh, this okay so we're going to put here the booking screen and it's going to be much it's going to just be like this one okay so what we're going to do uh instead of putting room id let's maintain id what is i'll uh, put room underscore id just like the way we had put it here we can just keep it as id so it can be uniform all right so i'm going to create a room booking screen it wasn't there on this template it's not there on the template but we're going to create ourselves whereby we're going to have um so have salary gallery team other pages for offer coming soon or if they don't there's no news news page there's no booking okay so we're going to create our own booking screen let's first confirm that there is no booking okay so i'll come here to hotel pro then come here to our templates this is our template i'll come here to some existing page you see if you can get the room the page for booking so have you have a page for facilities okay just going to use this bottom booking okay and then here we have the news this is the news what the news page we shall come to it later those i shall be doing get them when you're mastering the system all right so i'll have the news details page hmm. it's beautiful but we shall come to it later okay so let's first we work on the room bookings okay so i'll come back to our project so I'll come to the main to the project itself I come to the to the room details. Okay, so 
this is the room details screen so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to go ahead So I'm going to go ahead and do the room booking, okay? The room booking screen. So let's go ahead and do that. So the room booking screen, we have this agreed. We are going to just put this uh, simple thing, this simple form, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So I'll just simply come to our details page, details page. So I'm just going to copy everything in the details page. I copy it, control C, and then I come to the room booking.php, this one here. It's so I'm going to put everything just so it can just be like the same, okay? But I'm going to see where I should modify. All right, so I save, I come and refresh. So if I click to, if I go back to home, I go to rooms, okay, room details, and then I go to where? I go to uh to booking okay for example this booking okay let's make also this button that to make it proceed to check out eh? so to do that i shall come back to publish html and then to go where there is uh check out i can say maybe book now there is check now can put book now okay so here we're going to direct it to what to the room booking okay so we shall just simply put just like the way we did here I'm just going to get this room booking dot php and then I put the ID of the room that's going to be booked so I'll come here and remove this and put room booking dot php and say id equals to and then i go ahead and put item i can simply put room i think that's what we are using here room and then say id like this so by doing like that this button when someone will be clicking it they will be checking to the what to the checkout screen of the room of that particular room so i'm going to come here and save and refresh and then go ahead and click on what on checkout now checkout now okay so this is the checkout this is the booking okay this is the booking so it has taken me to the booking and the id of the room that has to be booked it is on top there okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and remove everything that is on top there i'm going to remove everything that is on top there okay so and we remain only with the what with the form okay so let's do that so we shall come so we shall come we don't need even the gallery photos so i'll come and remove this and just someone focus on the form remove this as well raw content container aha uh -huh, then these are related similar and then uh, here the pricing Okay, let's first see what we have now so if i refresh you'll see that uh oh where are we we are where are we oh sorry we are in the room details we're in the wrong file in the wrong file that's okay let's go ahead and uh, do what we are doing and the room building screen so i'll go ahead and remove the slider Remove the slider section. I go ahead and remove the room content section. I go ahead and remove the similar room. I go ahead and remove the pricing. All right. So if I come and refresh at this level, now we should be able to do what? We should be able to have uh, this bottom what? Bottom room. Okay. I mean bottom form for booking. Okay. So we're going to put here. A room booking form and then you're going to allow someone to book in from here so before we do so we want to check if someone is logged in so someone saying i should fix my microphone i don't know let me try to mute the fan 
how is it now uh, if you can hear me clearly uh, let me know in the chat someone saying that my microphone is also sounding how is it now i hope it's fine now all right so what you're going to do right now you're going to make sure that someone is logged in if they're not logged in you're going to redirect them to the login screen and uh, tell them to log in before they do what before they proceed okay so let's do that so let's do that so i'll just simply come here and say uh we're going to get the logged in user right i'm going to get the logged in user so you still remember we get the we save the logged in user in a session okay so let's go ahead and do that and check if the person is logged in if they're not logged in we take them back to the login screen so let's go ahead and do that so i'll just simply come here and say if uh so let's first die let's first dump okay so i'll just simply come and put remember i'm in the room booking the php so we want someone at least to have an account in order to proceed so let me first echo some pre-tag and then simply dump what is in the session and then die so let's see what is actually in the session so you see in the session we are having uh the submit to function uh, so someone is not logged in yet okay someone is not logged in yet so let's check let's do that let's check if someone is not logged in so to check if someone is logged in we can just simply do So I can come to come to login.html, I mean PHP, and then we check this how we are logging in someone, okay? See? So logged in user. We are saving them in what? Our logged in user. In fact, we had not started, I think, working on the logic of what? Of a logged in user. So, we're going to fix that right now. So, you see, we could just register someone and then let them proceed. Okay, so right now, I'm going to check if actually someone is logged in or not. Let's try to check. Let's try to check on the register.php. Even register.php, we couldn't log in someone, okay? Only we, we are logging the, that person from here. <laughs> we are logging this person from here. Okay, so you just have the, the variable called user in the session. That's the one that we're using for logging in someone. So we can do the same in login.php here. Login.php. So after someone has been logged in successfully, So this person verify you have to look in that person here like this this is uh this is login.php so we can log in that person like that by just getting this user and put it here all right that's how you log in a person so to check if someone is logged in we shall just simply check if the session of a person is not set if it's not set to redirect the person uh to the login screen all right so let's go ahead and do that okay so I'll come here to uh room booking.php i check if session is not set of this user Okay, so I'll go ahead and redirect them to the login.php. So I can put here 
a message I want to see where I put uh, my alert. I'm not even seeing where I put my alert as if I'm not that done faction. It is here. So I can pass the alert and say someone is not logged in. So the alert takes two things, the context and the message. So I'm going to do something like this. So let me go back. Just simply say, just put this on to be an information and say, please, sorry supposed to be in the other side this one here so I'll just simply say please log in to So please log in to continue with your booking something like that and then we exit and then direct this person to the watch to the login screen if you want you can direct them to the watch to the register screen so after doing so uh, now if you come and refresh we're going to be able to see that someone is not logged in so we come and refresh you see, I'm taken to the home page of logging in. Okay. So one more thing here. Remember, someone was not intentionally, uh, it, someone did not intentionally click on the register button. So it will be good to know where the, this person will click in order to be brought here to the register screen. So maybe after they finish registering, we redirect them back to the what? To the screen that they came from. So to be able to do that, I'll just simply come here and put a printer and I show you. So let me go to register. So I'll come here on top and just simply put some echo and then come and say I can put here server server it will be able to tell me everything about that particular request so let's go ahead and refresh for refresh now you can see that uh, yes uh, every the whole request is there okay the whole request there but here what I'm interested in is this guy HTTP referrer. 
So this HTTP referrer is actually where someone has been driven from. Okay. So I want to uh, I want to see if this person has come back to our site. I mean to our site uh, to register by maybe by redirecting and see if it is uh, when they finish to register, we should be able to take them to wherever they came from. So that one will help us that if someone finishes to log in on to register, they are able to go back uh, where they did what, where they stopped from. So we can do that only maybe to some specific what? To some specific pages like uh, sign up pages etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and check if this is set. So you see this is the link where someone has directed from. Okay, so let's go and check if this is set. So I just simply come here and do this. So if I come and refresh, everything is okay, it is set. So I'm going to check if it is set, if it is, uh, if it is set, what else? Uh, if it is not login and if it's not registered.php and it is within maybe our domain, we should be able to, uh, after registering, we should be able to redirect them from where they finished registering from. So I'll just simply come here and check. Uh, do just this logic and check if a is set and then I put this guy all right and then I check if it is uh, not register screen okay Right, so let me check if this is set. Okay. Let me come and cut this. So I'll die here and say that's the server or what I want to display. So if I refresh here, we'll say everything is set. So I'm going to check if it is not logged in, login screen at the same time it is not what, it is not register screen. Then you should be able to save that at the session. So check if is not, if does not contain contain register so that's how we check if that's how you check if this referrer does not contain register php that's how you check okay let me die here and say not container okay so it means that you shall only ignore the register php so if you come and refresh everything is okay all right so i go ahead and check if again does not contain the login screen So if I does also not contain the login screen, because if someone has finished login, we don't want to take them back again to login. If someone came through our registration, I mean through login button. So there we go. So I can just simply say die, uh, and I put the link there. So you see, this is the link. All right. So if some such sort of thing happens, what I'm going to do, I'll be just putting this one and say session and then put here uh, maybe pending what pending redirect and then I put there okay or maybe you can say pending screen or pending whatever or maybe previous link so I put these things in what in session so I mean it means that now after someone has finished registering I'll redirect them back to their what to their respective um, form that they are on. So 
we're gonna remove this guy so everything is fine remove this guy as well okay so i want to direct from here so that's it that's it so if i save here and the camera refresh so it means that this redirect is going to be saved in what in the session so let's go ahead and refresh you see everything is okay now let's go ahead and do the re-registration so before you direct to admin.php and customer.php i'll first check I'll first uh, check if is set the pending redirect and then I go ahead and say if is not what is not now then I'll go ahead and say location and then I redirect the pending pending link instead of what instead of, uh, of redirecting them to the register page and we actually know at this moment what is inside this pending redirect so if i can save i come and refresh so let me put there some fake data and i submit so you see i've been redirected back to the room but at this moment i'm already logged in so that's what we're doing so immediately after redirecting back make sure that we you remove that redirection okay so i can just simply say oh, what and set the pending redirect so i save come and refresh everything is beautiful right everything is beautiful. let's do the same to the login so let's do the same to the login so come and uh, copy this okay i'll come and copy this section and then go to the login.php here so i'll begin by registering whatever has come to the server like this sorry not that have come register.php and copy this http referral after saving them in the session and uh, now i go ahead and implement the redirect where it is necessary so after checking the password is correct the next thing is to redirect so i'll come to login.php and say where there is header i go ahead and put i go ahead and put the login direct feature first and let's not there then to allow you to redirect to the respective pages okay so i save come on refresh now everything is still fine everything is fine so let's go ahead and uh, and work on the logic of uh, checking now so i click on check now uh there is this demo data that we're going to do what to work upon to see that this is what it is colorful so i'll come here and put here instead of putting room hotel booking so let's go ahead and uh, change uh, so since we already know the room so we're going to say uh, you are booking maybe ABC room something like that okay let's check in check out adults then children and then say check out so what we're going to do we're going to uh to put here the room the room that someone is booking and then here we're going to put uh, the number of uh, adults okay 
Okay, so I can well, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and come to the hotel room booking form. So this hotel form is under the what? Under the room booking the PHP. So my time is up. So let's go to room booking the PHP. Let's start from there with next lecture because time is up and I want to start this one in your all afresh. So we'll start from here, whereby we're going to do the actual room booking and then proceed to customer registration and then customer's dashboard. So make sure that you don't miss in the next lecture. Goodbye. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thank you.